this thing working? Wow. Finally, a video series where I can be myself and not so professional. Welcome to the Uncut series. We're here today and we're gonna be who I am, Brian T, having a good time fixing a car. So yeah, that's the damage right there and uh, that's my name. And they say no blend and I don't need one anyways because it's so tiny. Never fixed one of these before. Yeah, so guys, all my friends will tell you, I know nothing about motors or engines. I only know about paint. So that looks like a cool engine and that's all I know about it. So uh, let's take off some bolts and get this thing off. Oh wow, I actually picked the right uh, socket. Okay, so the easiest part is done. The bolts that I can see. Now I gotta get on my butt and get dirty. Oh. All right, so I get all the way down here. I don't have the right wrench. Looking like probably a T something. Eh, but that's not too much of a problem. Uh, the odds of me picking the right one on the first time is slim. See, in the real paint society, you don't see this. You see the glamorous life of me painting and making miracles happen, but this is the reality. Belly out, underneath the car. We're combo here, we do it all. YouTube, how to remove a Jaguar XE rear, uh, front bumper. Look at here, Woo! look at that. Nice Good job, Brian. Yeah, so with the bumper off, what I'll do is I'll keep two uh, containers. One for all the bolts and nuts to take off the bumper, and one for all the interior. Stay organized. Yeah, so this bumper, I didn't really know how to take off. I'd never taken one off before, but I used the internet, and I didn't even find a 2018. I found a 2011. But the thing is, sometimes it'll be in similar places, the screws. So I use that to help me take everything apart. And oftentimes, they'll find me just taking a picture of... Uh, the inside of the bumper because it's a few days later you're not going to remember it got big screws small screws they all go in different places oh well, there's nothing like a honda i'd tell you that much 100 screws for one grill oh boy but what a beautiful car yeah take these little rubber uh, seals off these little sensors you will lose them don't leave them on there put them in your little bucket trust me hey man yeah it's the first episode of the uncut series oh yeah. man so what the Oh man, now I gotta bleep that out, man. Let's get back to work. All right. Finally, she's good to go. Yep, that was a totally wrong screw to remove. <laughs> All right, let's see here, what do we got? Looser. Oh, jackpot. Oh, thank God, the last part we gotta remove. You guys, with everything removed, now I can actually get paint where we need to and we can warranty our work. I'll have Diaz work on this one while I'm at work. Yeah, I work two jobs. I'm an elementary PE teacher during the day, but uh, I'll go ahead and I'll work on the fender, have him work on this in the meantime. No, I go on to find out how to take oh, that off. Okay, yeah. yeah. You can see what I go on eBay, find it, what it looks like on the back. And then I saw that it was just clips on the back, so I just uh, I just popped it off. I was scared about taking it off. I'm like, I don't want to break it. There you go. Found out we had some uh, clean prep aerosol on the back. Beautiful color. You don't want to sand contaminants right back into the paint job. All right. So I'm just going to use a block to sand this one out. I don't like to get uh, too aggressive. The DA, we're gonna keep it small. This is a uh, 320. Keep this small, the job's gonna be pretty much a little bit of base and clear on kick clear. It's gonna look pretty good. I'll get it down to the primer. We can put glaze over that, that will work. I'm sure I could just prime and be fine, but a little bit of glaze just in case there's something we can't see. It's not a bad idea. So I'm just going to back sand this area 400. When we go to put our uh, primer or body filler, make sure it sticks very lightly. Oh, we got some filler on there. And look at me, I wasn't recording, I thought I was. But hey, 
Paint Society Uncut, so I'm gonna take the filler back off and redo it. While that's drying, let's see what the guys are up to. Turn down your music, please, so that we don't get demonetized. How dare you, bro? This is my space. You're gonna come into my space and touch my stuff? This isn't the body shop. All right. All right, yeah. Time to go back. back. Your hole. I'll sand that with 220. I don't wanna go too aggressive. It's just uh, glaze. And it's not even ready yet, so I'll give it a couple more minutes. Painted this car about two years ago. Still looks decent. I mean, there's a video on it if you go and look. Rear bumper, quarter panel, door jam, this door, that door, here, bumper. Uh, the fender was really hacked. Fix that. Door. And I think that's it. Did a lot. 220. Keep that block flat before we prime. I'll just hit it up with 600. Just the area around it. It's called back sanding. It's a 330 seconds um, sander. It's gonna leave a very fine scratch. You don't have to worry about it going through too much. Put a little etch on there. You don't need to actually cover the whole thing. Just so that your metal has some of it on there, you'll be good to go. I right, get the bumper all in primer. Thank you, Mr. Diaz. Probably gonna go ahead and uh, just put some blue primer over here so that when we go to put our base, the cover's much nicer. I might even steel seal, who knows? But we'll sand this down with like a uh, 320. I'll see what the guide coat does, right? So if you have like maybe plastic and then you had a uh, clear coat like you feathered it out that guide coat will go in that ring and show you how much you need to sand it away do that on the whole bumper so that's the bumper i went ahead and sanded it all down and i uh, washed it off just to keep it cleaner you know when you wash things in between and you keep it clean the finish is not, not a lot nicer and then i put these little uh, foam piece of tape in here you don't want buildup inside of these, otherwise what happens is uh, when you go to put the sensor back in, they're just gonna push out the paint and it's gonna get really ugly. So I'll go ahead, I'm gonna prime this in blue, right? So I'm priming this in blue because uh, when we go to paint it, I wanna make sure that uh, it covers much easier and I could probably use just a little bit more primer uh, with so many chips and different debris on the bumper. We'll get one more coat on there, it'll sand much easier. I lower the pressure just a little bit. Light coats. I had to unmask the car so you can see, like, you know, how much we've contained this repair. And using the right color primer, yeah, I spilt it everywhere. The lid just wasn't fitting right. Anyways, we're gonna be good. Blue, we can blend it. We have our edge here to kind of hide our blend. And then we go ahead and clear coat the rest of the panel. And on the bumper here, you can see we got the right color, so that's really gonna help us out. And we can keep rocking and rolling from here. All right, so the primer's all dry. We got the K grid, got another video on choosing the right grit. It's a different type of grade, so uh, check that one out. But we're gonna go ahead and we'll uh, sand it down and uh, we'll get this thing in the paint soon. We take it closer into the um, I'm gonna take it towards the top of the fender where we might have some of that overspray. Get that overspray off. Nice and smooth. Go ahead and scuff the rest of the panel here. Why did you make up your mind? Ah, I'm a, I can change my mind. You can have them. Merry Christmas. You wait all day for me to come in, don't you? So, so you can harass me. That's right.
I'll go ahead and get this bumper sanded. Nice scuff and I'll be good to go. Ah, there she is, and uh, I love that uniform scratch right there. This is what I love to see, a nice sanded panel ready for the blend. We're gonna bring it into the booth right now. All right, so I'm gonna back this car in here. I'm gonna put the exhaust uh, closest to where I'm painting. That way the paint doesn't have to go all over the whole car and risk any possible overspray that kinda eludes our plastic. Slow and steady, cool car. I think I'm gonna enjoy painting it. It's gonna look great when it's done. Yeah, I'll give enough space here, go all the way towards the back of the booth. That way I can fit my bumper in the front. Get everything painted at one time. Got her in the booth. It is so hot. I mean, we've got a lot of humidity here in Florida. I'm going to get this thing masked up. I work all night, so I got nothing to paint tonight. So I'll wait till it cools down a little bit. Uh, then I'll cop in here and uh, put some paint on it, but not a minute before it starts to cool down. Where are you guys from? Got a lot of people from uh, different countries, different areas. Can only imagine what the weather is in some places probably thankful for uh, it only being in the 90s, huh? Now, oh, fenders don't take too long to mask. I got this cool masker collision edge to make this, uh, it's like magnetic. Well, hood's aluminum. Fenders are aluminum too. Okay, so the fenders aren't metal. Maybe there's something else. I guess they're aluminum. And I still etched it. What do you think guys? Lou and I, been a great company to put out a new paint suit. Got a lot of cool uh, different accessories that they have along the line, including this. Pretty cool because you can adjust your uh, arms a little bit right there so it's tight. Fits good, snug, and it's stylish. Thank you. Time to get painted. A couple other cool products they make is this hose hanger which I really love. And uh, got my DV-1 with the light. Use this for coverage. So let's get spraying. To the first coat, not too heavy. Probably covering about two to three coats. Gonna keep it underneath this body line, all right? Bumper right here. See how we're already losing the primer underneath? So important to have that uh, value shade. I'll let you check out the bumper once uh, it's all based up. Well, my battery died. Should have charged it before, but if you want to check coverage in between, Astro also has a cool light. Really want to check when the uh, lights are off, but you can still give a good idea of what's going on if you got coverage. I already put two coats on. I probably put one more on. Looking pretty good. All right, let's go see if uh, we can use the bathroom while still keeping the suit on. Not bad. It's nice because the uh, zipper is below the crotch. Yeah, so this will probably be the third final coat. All right, so we're ready to clear. That's the clear we're using. It's slow, remember slow. And uh, we're not gonna use the big, bad, beautiful WS400. Not needed, guys. Such a small job. I tell you time and time again, I go for the CC500. It's because what I love, and it's a small job and I can control it, that's the gun I'm going by. And uh, honestly, I never thought I would use it past the, uh, the time that I actually unbox it, but it's been my go-to. And that's what I'm using, and uh, we'll show you the results.
Guys, first coat, no need to show you the second. I mean, the gun delivers really well. Look how beautiful that is. But now one of my best friends shows up. <laughs> Look at that hair. This is this is Paint Society Uncut first episode. Is it wild? It, it, it looks good. It oh, looks better you. than mine. Uncut. Uncut. That means nothing gets edited. About time we drove this car. Go look at a real car inside. <laughs> All right, so the bumpers are ready to go back on. The fender, all good, all buffed. Let's get this thing together. And this is ready to go. Perfect. All right, guys, so just finishing this one up, man. She came out beautiful. Everything is back right where it needs to be. Yeah, I'm kind of happy with this one. I go ahead and I wash the area where I was working in and I double check, make sure that nothing uh, still needs buffing before I send it to wash. That way I am good to go. But just check it out, that repair right there. Eh, we did pretty good, what do you think? Nice even texture once we buzzed it down just a touch. Eh, I'm happy with it. So that's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed the new type of series. We're still gonna have our regular series where I'm teaching you how to paint and more detailed. But our uncut series is shop talk, having fun, learn a little bit, and just come along my journey as I fix some cars. So guys, this is Brian from Paint Society reminding you, don't overthink it, it's just paint. I'll see you guys on the next one.